right, ladies and gentlemen. So in this video, I'm basically going to just show you some of the tools I use in Illustrator and why I prefer using Illustrator to do the Merch by Amazon designs. Now, I'm going to make try to make this as simple as possible. And yeah, so let's begin. So I'll, I'll, let's add another layer. I'll get rid of this one. So we're using the Merch by Amazon template right here. And all right, so we have our pen tool here, um, pretty similar to the one that's on uh, Photoshop. We can, we can draw things in. And here we have a white fill and a black outline. We can swap it. And then we'll have a white outline and a black fill. Let's change the outline to something we can see. And then we'll change the stroke size a bit bigger just so you can see the red. And there you go. Uh, so that's pretty much the pen tool. Uh, you can definitely use it to draw. I also like using this just to draw the uh, pencil. Gives you nice lines. So something you can do is basically um, load up your design you sketched out and just come up here and try to like draw it out. Uh, see what you can do. All right. So those are the things I use. They also have the um, text tool here. Um, let's get this size a bit bigger. We're going to do a Merry Christmas t-shirt. Um, so let's go here. Okay, let's try that one. Um, all right. So here we have our text tool. Usually I centered it, so just it'll get snapped in the middle. There we go. Um, and then I'll get it bigger. So I usually use Shift, Option, and then drag out. And it'll help my text be centered and it'll just, you know, expand outwards. Uh, so there we go. And then we have pretty much the same thing that we have in uh, Photoshop, where it helps me a bit, you know, transform the text um, into different ways. So we have the arc, lower arc, upper arc, and um, all these other options here. So you can transform your text into a different look. Um, let's go for, no, maybe a little lower, upper, uh, okay, let's just do that. All right, so we're going to change the text to red, uh, so I'll have to go click inside, press the red, oh, so here we click the outline red but uh, the fill is black. So let's switch that around and then we'll have the, the outline nothing. Oh, so I have to click it again and there we go. So we have a Merry Christmas. Um, so here I like to use the shape tools. So let's try to make a triangle. So you know, you can have your rectangle, polygon, star, so if I use the star and I drag it out, I have a shape of the star, right? But I want it to ha make a triangle. So what I do is I use the um, arrow keys. So if I go up, I get more, more sides. If I go down, I reduce the amount of size until I go to three. I press shift and I'll be able to, to have my uh, triangle, you know, even with even sides and, you know, pretty much um, in a 90 degree angle or let's say straight. Um, all right, so we're going to change this to a green. I think I have this green. Okay, let's try it out. I think I was using this before. All right, so we have our triangle. So now we have it centered. These little guides kind of help you. So I definitely follow that. All right. So let's bring this down. We're going to make this the top of our uh, Christmas tree. So we got our first triangle. I'm going to press Alt and then drag it out and bring it down. 
leg go and we have a copy of the triangle. I'm going to make this a little bigger. So basically shift, alt, or option, and it and it increases the size. Well, I'll, I'll increase the size, and but it keeps it centered. And there we go. Now I'll repeat the same option. Uh, uh, press alt or option. Bring it down. Shift, alt or option. Make it a bit bigger. And let's do one more. So alt or option. Bring it down. Option. Shift. Make it a bit big. Okay. So we have our Christmas tree right there. So let's uh, go to align. And we're going to align it so it distributed. Vert uh, it says vertical distribution center. So it will you know, be distributed evenly uh, vertically. So press that. Oh, it was pretty good. So there we go. Uh, so we have our Christmas tree right there. Okay, so let's get a star now. So we go back to our shape tool, get the star. We're gonna pick a yellow. So pick yellow right there. Now we're gonna increase uh, the size of the star. So, well, we need to make the star. So up on the arrow key, I think that's fine right there. I'll press shift. And then, voila, we have our Christmas tree. Now you can decorate it, um, you know, you can use the pencil tool and make, you know, some lines. Now with this, with the stroke, the size of the line, you can come up here and change that. As you can see, I'll change a different color. Let's say I want the... Uh, this kind of, and you can kind of fill it out. Say we want some circles. So if I don't hold uh, shift, um, my circle might not be even. But if I hold shift, the circle stays even. So we want little circles, and we want it to be filled, but not outlined. So we got the fill here and the outline, nothing. And yeah, then we just distribute it a little bit. Maybe make it a bit smaller. So shift. And just bring it down a bit. And then we press, you press Alt, copy it. All right. And you can pretty much do <coughs> decorate your tree as how you'd like using the shapes tool right here. So that's um, some of the things I use. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing that I really, really enjoy using uh, on Illustrator. And it's going to be involving uh, photos. So let's say I bring a photo in into Illustrator. I have this Santa Illustrator. I want this Santa photo skating, carrying a Christmas tree. Uh, so I'm going to basically transform this photo into a vector art using the image trace. Um, so here you have several options. I pretty much just play around with them and see um, what I like. So let's try that one. Yeah, it's not bad. But I think I'll try to do more. Let's go with low fidelity photo. So basically with this tool, you can pretty much transform any photo into vector. Um, so once we have done and I'm happy with the results, I'll just press extend. I mean, ex expand. And yeah, there we go. Uh, pretty much just erase what I don't want. I also just like cleaning it up in Photoshop before I bring it in, but um, just for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just do this. So I can come in 
um, go to this um, direct selection tool and then just delete what I don't want. So when you're doing this, you kind of have to be a bit careful because you might delete something that you actually want. So you can always go back. Um, so basically edit, um, undo, or command Z. All right, almost done. I could also go ahead and use the eraser tool if I, if, if you, this is something you prefer. Oh, I think it was too big. Yeah, so I can also use the eraser tool to erase it. Uh, but I do prefer using the selection tool. There we have it. You can see there's still some spots. Clean it up. I think that's okay. Let's see if I can put my star that's here. So basically, copy, Command C, which will copy it. Uh, put it on top of here. So we're going to try to get this color. So if I hold on, select the star, and then I select this eyedrop tool, I can select the color that I'm with. The, I, so the star will be the color I select the eye. I drop tool with if that makes any sense. So somehow I'm gonna try to see if I can make this seem like it's okay. Maybe I'll get rid of this. Okay, um, so let's just add some text. Um, I know I can't use that text I use right there, so I don't have another text. All right, what is this? In? I know that one's copyrighted, so let's see. I know there's this one I can use. Search this in this. So a lot of times I just go through my fonts and see which ones I like. I kind of try to remember the ones I have licensed to or I purchased or the ones that are free. Um, and the ones I'm not sure of, I pretty much just leave alone. So I just got one from Creative Market. I'm going to see if I can find it. I think it was this one. So I'll just use this one. Um, let's turn it red. Okay, that's a good red. Uh, let's see if I can modify it a little bit with this tool right here. Get the preview going. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, 
that's it. All right, guys. Hope this helped and coming up with more videos later on and get started on your Christmas designs. Um, I know the Merch by Amazon has come up with new rules. So if um, your design will be up for 60 days because, before it gets taken down. So if you haven't done your t-shirt designs for Christmas yet, you better get working because um, I think this is a great day to you know start or re already start. Once December hits, um, you know, you could still get going on them, but once the December hits, I'm going to start to change gears and concentrate on another, either another niche or another season or another holiday. But month of November, crack out all the Christmas designs you can. Um, and good luck and see you next time. Peace. Thank you.